Uh, <coughs> you think maybe this past weekend was a nice, I don't know, kicking the pants going in the ACC tournament, wake guys up a little bit maybe? Well, you know, it, it was a uh, tough weekend down at Wake. Uh, obviously, how we lost game one was was very difficult. Uh, you know, Nick Howard's done the job all year long. And, you know, we learned uh, that, that nobody's perfect. And, um, you know, but I was really proud of our club that we battled back in one game two. And obviously, losing the series isn't something that we want to do. But, you know, we proved that, uh, you know, we're, we're human and, and we're like other teams out there and that, you know, it comes down to the little details of execution and, and really performing in the clutch is what makes the difference in whether you win or lose. And, you know, maybe in some way that, that's a good reminder to us. And, uh, you know, now that we've completed the regular season, we had a terrific regular season. I mean, to have the fourth best winning percentage in the country uh, is pretty special. I also think that um, it, it's very rare in college baseball to have a team that goes through the regular season and never loses a back-to-back -back game. You know, we didn't lose back-to-back -back games all year long. And so that shows this team's resiliency and their ability to, uh, to, to bounce back. So, you know, I'm proud of what we've done in the regular season. And now that starts that new chapter, you know, we get to get into the conference tournament with the chance to win the ACC championship and then move on to the NCAA tournament. Kind of had a day now. Now you know when you're playing the matchups, all that. Right. What do you think of the road ahead these next few days? Well, you know, it's a it's a challenging road. You know, uh, you know, we, we have a few days off here, so we'll we'll do a little scrimmaging today and also tomorrow, and then head down to Greensboro on, on Tuesday afternoon, and not playing until that Thursday morning. You know, we've been in that game before, and that's fine. And uh, I'm excited to play an, oppo an opponent in Maryland that uh, is having a great year. They've got outstanding pitching, and we haven't had a chance to play them this year. So uh, it's a challenging tournament. You think about the 10 teams that qualified for this tournament. It's a pretty special tournament, and uh, it takes a lot to win this thing, and we're looking forward to what we have in front of us. How nice is it? We talked a little bit about this last week, but um, given the pitching that you've had all year long, right. how nice is it to have that at your disposal going into a series? Like, the way this format. Well, our pitching's been uh, really consistent for us all year long. And when you talk about a team's ability to bounce back and never have back-to-back -back losses, well, that happens because you got outstanding starting pitching. You know, you lose a ball game, and then you can run Artie Lewicki out there like we did in Game Two, or you know, Josh Spores or. Uh, Brandon Waddell, whoever it is. Um, so we're, we're very, very fortunate to have great starting pitching and a terrific bullpen. And, you know, that that's so important when it comes to a tournament. You know, to win an ACC tournament, not only do you have to be clutch and pound in runs when you get a chance, but you got to have great pitching depth, and we certainly have that.